Uh, I teamed up with Jamie five weeks ago. I mean, we hit the ground running, but you know, we're still, we're still making adjustments, getting used to each other. So, you know, it was good to get that win out of the way. LaRosse, you know, he was pretty caged in there. You know, he, he boxed a bit scared early on. Then he got a bit of spirit. I, I probably, I thought more calm what round it was early on, and I probably went a bit. Started forcing things a little bit, loading up on my shots too much, and I think I didn't perform as well as I could have because of that. Um, you know, he, every time I hit him even half clean, he seems to shake a little. So I think I was forcing stuff, trying to force the knockout instead of just, you know, setting traps and boxing him away. And, and the knockout probably would have come then. But you know, all this, all this lesson in the book, you don't look for it. And it comes. You mentioned but, something talking to your trainer about a fury. You got that fury out of you. No, I probably, I, you know, you, when you're in there with someone. Who, who you know can punch, you have a bit of a fear factor and it makes you sharp and you don't tend to load up. Probably, I knew I realised he couldn't really hurt me early on and then I felt I probably lost that bit of respect for him in a sense that was just, you know, neglecting my defences a little bit and was just looking to bulldoze through. Hence I started loading up instead of just letting, you know, I was relaxed and boxing more. Matt, you know, probably would have came. tell me about, you know, how you had to change your game plan, you know, it, it was... It was Willie Nelson about a few weeks ago, and that was Lamar Russ. I mean, how, how did that change your game plan? How did that change I mean, your at style? least it was a similar style of fighter, a tall guy, box, a good jab. So it wasn't the worst thing in the world. But of course, it's a different guy. So you're thinking, what's this guy going to bring? And he was 14 and 0. So you knew he was a decent fighter, good amateur record, but he wasn't, hadn't, couldn't get a lot of tape of him. So it wasn't yes, that great to prepare for. We just knew he was pretty orthodox. He wasn't awkward. So when he was a bit awkward with his height and his cage and his foot, you know, he wasn't a tricky southpaw or anything. So yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal. Who do you want to? Fight next, Felix Sturm, the Green Island guy. He beat Darren Barker tonight. You know, I, I beat the crap out of Felix Sturm a couple of years ago. Everyone's seen that. Fight was on epics. You know, I think I won the fight by six rounds at least. Um, you know, he didn't want to fight me. So, you know, now he's won the title back. If he's got anything about him. You know, if he's the man he says he is, he'll give me the rematch. Where do you want to go back to Germany? I mean, I'd, to I'd, I'd, love, I'd love it to be here in New York. Or, you you'll know, go to Germany. Well, I'd go to Germany if I had to. You'll go where it has to be made. You know, I'll beat him there before, and I'll beat him there again. Exactly. Beat him in Germany once, you can beat him in Germany again. Germany, German public and all that. How good did it feel just to get back in the yeah, win? 88% of the German public voting online had me winning the fight. German television had me winning the fight by four fights. You know, Felix Sturm fired Axel Schultz off the television network because he had me winning the fight. Yeah. You know, that's how much of a control freak he is. He wants to control everything. But, you know, he knows I beat him. He was embarrassed. No, the, the truth in of the matter is we would much rather the fight be in Ireland, England, the United States, but we face realities. If it's going to happen, it's probably going to happen by Matt going to Germany. But if Matt has to go to Germany, that's the fight he's always wanted. And now it's set up again. Sturm's got a title again. Sturm's ha if Sturm has pride, Sturm's going to want to settle the score in the ring. And uh, and I think that right now in Germany, Sturm-Macklin's the biggest fight right now that can be made. By far. I mean, I, you know, I, that was a very below par performance for not tonight, but a lot of things you have to take into account. I was coming off a knockout last to Gennady Golovkin, you know what I mean? It's a, there was a change of opponent, the first fight teaming up with James. So there was a few other factors there. I tried a bit too hard to force a knockout, but I still beat a decent undefeated kid comfortably, you know, boxing within myself. So, you know, I know for Felix Sturm, I'd be up, I'd be the, you know, I'd, I'd have a great camera, I'd be the, I know on the night, the magnitude of the fight and the fact that I'd want to get revenge, I would perform to the best of my ability without a doubt.